Yesterday, November 8th, 2011, the Jewish community lost a great uh, sage and a righteous person. Rabbi Nassim Svi Finkel was the Rosh Yeshiva, the head of the Miri Yeshiva in Jerusalem, one of the largest yeshivot in the world with over 5,000 students. And Rabbi Nassim Svi Finkel was actually an American born in Chicago uh, who moved to Israel and became this outstanding Torah scholar. Uh, what marked him specifically was his warmth and his uh, generosity, aside from his scholarship. And he built the Mir Yeshiva into the towering educational institution that it is today. Rabbi Nassim Tzvi Finkel was stricken with Parkinson's disease as a young man, I believe, when he was still in his 40s. And he refused to take medication because he was afraid that it would slow down his thinking process. So uh, he was very disabled even as a young man. Howard Schultz, who is the uh, CEO of Starbucks, tells the following story, and he actually told this at the uh, conference of the business school at Columbia University, and it's recorded in their magazine. He says that he was uh, on a trip to Jerusalem together with a number of important uh, business people visiting Israel, and for some reason or other, he wound up having an audience with Naftali Tzvi Finkel, with Rabbi Finkel at the Mary Yeshiva. Uh, the, uh, these important businessmen were seated in a classroom uh, at desks, and they were waiting for the Rosh Yeshiva to arrive. Uh, when he ar ar arrived, um, he came in haltingly, he could barely walk, and the people were so uncomfortable at seeing him that they turned their eyes away. And he pounded on the desk with whatever might he had, and he said, gentlemen, I know that you're all very busy and we only have a few minutes, but I have something very important to say to you. And then he said, I would like to ask you what you feel is the meaning of the Holocaust. What was the meaning of the Holocaust? And uh, uh, even when he was speaking, it was very hard for the words to come out. So the people were very, very uncomfortable. And here are these dynamic CEOs sitting around sort of like uh, wanting to hide under the desks and were very uncomfortable. And uh, he said, come on, what's the answers? And uh, finally, some person raised his hand. He said, well, we learned from this, from the Holocaust, that uh, it should never have an, happen again, never again. And uh, Rabbi Finkel sort of shrugged that off. And then uh, anybody else, and Howard Child says that he was a little afraid that uh, uh, they would call on him, but someone raised his hand and he said, um, we have to remember that we should always be able to defend ourselves. And Schultz thought that that was a very good answer, but he said, Rabbi Finkel said, you know, you guys just don't get it. I'll tell you what the message of the Holocaust was. He says, during the war, the Nazis rounded up Jews and put them on these cattle cars. And many of the people who were being transported died from malnutrition, disease, suffocation. And when they opened up the doors, they were just blinded. And then the guards ripped the women away from the men and ripped the children away from their mothers. And people were just screaming and they were led into these barracks like cattle. And it was so cold at night. And the German soldier came around and gave out one blanket to every six people. And the person who got the blanket had to decide on that spot whether he was going to keep the blanket for himself or was going to share it with five others. And they shared it with the other five. He says, that's the message of the Holocaust. Share the blanket. I want you to go back to America and tell everyone that we have to share the blanket, that we have to give from what we have to others to help them survive as much as we possibly can and as much as they possibly can. That's the message of the Holocaust. And that was the message of Naftali Tzvi Finkel. May his memory be blessed.